Today we're here at Cal Expo doing a toy and coat drive uh, for the students of Robles School District. Uh, we've been here since 10 a.m. Uh, we've had tons of new toys, new coats, even some donations of cash and checks. We're getting ready to fill this bus up and uh, it's amazing. Thank you so much, we appreciate it. Robla is actually kind of a, a forgotten about area in northern Sacramento. Unfortunately, there's about 2,500 students in the district that about 95% of those live at or below the federal poverty level. Uh, so we just want to be able to give them another reason to smile this Christmas, take a load off by helping provide some toys, coats, uh, even some meals from our friends at Raley's uh, to just give them, you know, something to look forward to this holiday season. We got some goodies, oh, wow. we got some goodies. Obviously, it's been a tough year for everybody around the world. Um, but for people to still have in their hearts to go out and give to others, it's, uh, you know, I think it just, it shows well on, on humanity as a whole. It says a lot about this club. It's what this club has stood for since day one. The number one thing is uh, being a part of Sacramento and the Sacramento community, especially during these times with Christmas coming up and, you know, all the other holidays to take care of people who need it. It, it just feels good. We're here at uh, Taylor Street Elementary in Roble Unified School District. This is the fruits of the labor of the uh, toy and coat drive that we had last Thursday. Um, so now we're shopping for each individual family, grabbing a coat, a toy. Uh, we're also bringing some holiday food boxes, uh, make sure they have some, some good food this week. And uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing to see. Well, I think for me as, as the superintendent of a school district, you know, we're in business to educate children and we see these needs, but we really don't have the resources to make things happen for the families. And by partnering with the Sac Republic, we have extended our reach in a way that it would be impossible for a school district like us. By connecting together the, the school district and the uh, Sac Republic, we, I think, have been able to make this happen in a way that wouldn't have happened otherwise. I, I think that's what it's all about at the end of the day, you know, having the opportunity to put a smile on, you know, a little kid's face, a family's face is in, in a time of need is, is just an amazing thing to do. And we got to continue to keep up with the initiative uh, and, and helping the community. Um, there's still families in need and, and you know, it's been a long year, a tough year for everyone. And, and we, we're just here to help as much as we possibly can. I have this, I have this delivery here for you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. You guys have a good one, okay? You know, nothing happens alone. We have the saying, uh, it takes a republic. Uh, and that's not just a saying. We know that it takes the efforts of many to do something that's truly grand. Yeah, there's, there's no off-season uh, when it comes to Republic and what our club stands for, and there's certainly no off-season when it comes to what families and especially kids need. This is a 365-day job and it's our mission to make the community around us better, and that is exactly what we're doing today. Uh, and again, it's not just us, it's all of those around us that are making this happen, and that's what makes me excited for what's ahead for us in the future.